This is Late Junction on BBC Radio 3. I'm Verity Sharp, handing over now to Johnny Greenwood, who we all first noticed in the mid-80s as the lead guitarist of Radiohead and who is now a highly respected composer. He's written award-winning film scores. He's collaborated with the likes of Christoph Penderecki. And in fact, now he's even started his own classical music label called Octatonic. So his music knowledge and appreciation runs deep. And this mixtape covers a really thought provoking range. Here he is. Hi, this is Johnny Greenwood, member of the band Radiohead and composer sometimes of soundtracks. I'm from the generation of making cassette compilations and I always remember it being a really wonderful way to really listen to the music you own and decide if you like it or not because when you had to do compilations in real time you'd sit and listen to one song or piece of music and be two minutes in and then suddenly decide it wasn't good enough or suddenly decide you didn't like it after all. It was a really good way to focus your listening. So I've done this one a bit like that by sitting and listening to everything over and over and considering what I really feel about this kind of music. I am very interested in music which is as minimal as it can be, but at the same time I'm conscious that lots of minimal music can be missing something. It's very fascinating to me how bands especially get to a stage in their career where they like to record layer upon layer upon layer of sound in the belief that's going to make it interesting and it never really does um, and then often these bands will vacillate into preferring music that's as minimal as possible but that can often lead to music which is boring so I'm fascinated by some of the music I've chosen for this playlist because it treads that line really well of having just enough in it to be fascinating but not swamping you and not being trying to like I'm doing now talking and filling things up with words and, and ideas just to hide the fact that there's nothing going on I think and that's why I love lots of the things that I've put together for this I mean I appreciate that sounds like kind of banal Goldilocks style you know not too warm not too cold but it is interesting to me that something like the DJ Blackstar record is just a voice and a drum machine and yet sounds like a whole complete thing and couldn't be more exciting. I found the DJ Blackstar track from a compilation CD that Tom made me about 15 years ago, Tom York, and it's one of the many tracks on that CD he gave me that has stayed with me and I listen to all the time still. strange because I mean obviously I do this for a living so I'm often working on a piece of music over and over again all day and it's about learning when something is finished or waiting for the something to happen to tell you that and it's a it's a very tough judgment my in-laws were born in respectively Iraq and Alexandria in, in Egypt so I've always been fascinated with the music they grew up with. I've got happy memories of going to see my wife's grandmother who would sit all day watching crazy Egyptian films from the 50s on a broken television with all the colours wrong, really loud in this little apartment. And as with lots of Arabic music, it's how passionate the music is and how every other word is Habibi, which is darling, my love. It's all hyper romantic and hyper full of feeling. It's even called Habibi Bahai Beltesh. The Duke Ellington track is something that Paul Thomas Anderson played me when I was doing the soundtrack for his film The Master. And we were talking about music in the 50s. It just struck me as such a beautiful way to arrange classical music. Very moving, works so well, played softly on these, on these big band brass instruments. It's a very tender piece of music. You forget that as well as being brash and exciting and full of fire, big band music can also be very soft and mournful and have all of this beauty to it. 
thinking more and more about music in terms of music as celebration and music as, as you know, I, I spend a lot of time in uh, Italy and was talking to this Italian in um, Le Marche who plays accordion and plays the traditional folk music of the area. And he was explaining that, you know, they used music to celebrate the harvest and music used to be something that was hard to experience and quite hard to listen to and it would be performed on special occasions as a way to express joy and relief and happiness and that side of music partly from being in let's not deny it not the most um up 90s rock band called radiohead i started to think more and more about well, what about the joy in music what about music is something that you know after a difficult year you turn to it and and you know it's hard because i guess you learn to associate joy and happiness in music with something that's therefore glib and shallow but i don't feel like that anymore and i hear more and more in music that's just all the more glorious because it is a shout of something you know celebratory I'm Johnny Greenwood and this is my Late Junction mixtape for BBC Radio 3.